Welcome back to Mental Math. This problem went viral because people can't agree on the answer. Is it 2 or 162? Here's the twist. Both answers can be right, depending on how you read it. Let's break down why this simple expression causes so much debate. This is the crux of the debate. The division symbol can be read in two ways. We'll examine both methods carefully. We'll begin with the PEMDAS approach, which gives us a systematic way to handle this. Notice that multiplication and division share a priority level. When that happens, left to right is the tiebreaker. Let's apply the rules. Parentheses first. 5 plus 4, straightforward enough, which gives us 9. Now this 3 times 9 is just implied multiplication. Let's make it explicit. Here's the key moment. Division and multiplication have the same priority, so we work left to right. Division comes first, simply because it's on the left. 54 divided by 3 gives us 18, leaving us with this final multiplication. 18 times 9 is 162. By the standard rules, that's the answer. But wait, there's more to this story. Now, millions of people arrive at 2. Are they wrong? Not necessarily. They're just using a different method. They're reading this as a fraction where all the terms after the division are grouped together below. Everything after the division symbol becomes the denominator. Written as a fraction, it looks like this. Now, there's no ambiguity about what needs to happen first. We still handle the parentheses first, getting 9. Now we evaluate the entire denominator. 3 times 9 is 27. And we get 2. Same expression, different method, completely different answer. The real answer might surprise you. This debate exists because the problem itself is poorly written. We get 162 versus 2. The order of operations gives us 162. But the notation is ambiguous enough that many people read it the other way. Mathematical notation should communicate clearly. This expression doesn't. Use this notation if you want the modern interpretation to be unambiguous. Use this if you mean the implied multiplication should happen first. The takeaway? When you're writing math, be explicit. Parentheses are your friend. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe to keep exploring these fascinating problems together.